Recall from the one of the previous videos, the lambda expression videos, that I can just write a lambda like this. And really, this is a method. Method takes one argument. The argument's name is i. Okay, and returns i greater than five. And you, the compiler uses this delegate definition on the left-hand side to say, oh well, i is an int because func. If I look at func, I'm passing int as the first argument, bool is the second. And I, I notice this looks like int should be the return type and bool should be the argument type, but it's actually the argument type is the very last one. All right, remember I can put up to I think it's 16 in here, 16 different arguments. Um, but the return type is always the last one, and there's some reasons behind that we can go over in, an, in another video. Anyway, the compiler is smart enough to say, hey, uh, Funk is going to take an int, return a bool, so I must be an int, and yes, this looks like a Boolean expression. The compiler obviously knows that a... Uh, is this greater? No, this is... Yeah, this is greater than. Greater than operator is going to return a bool. So we're all good here, okay? Well... You may uh, hear the term out there, anonymous method versus lambda expression. And this is a lambda expression. This came into the C-sharp language in C-sharp 3.0. In C-sharp 2.0, we got anonymous methods, which are a lot like lambda expressions. Uh, lambda expressions are a little more slick. Anonymous methods were slicker than what we had before, but lambda expressions are basically anonymous methods, but better. Okay, Anonymous method version of this, I'm going to comment this out. And again, remember, the compiler just turns this method into a or this lambda expression into a normal member method here. Okay, in fact, let me just write that out. Static, uh, well, first of all, I'll paste it. Paste it, and then it's going to be, you know, static, int, and the method name doesn't matter, and then int this, and then the arrow denotes the body, so we're going to put the body in here, and that's going to return i greater than 5. Thank goodness we have lambda expressions, because this is pretty clunky, and I said int here, or I should have said bool. Okay, so the compiler does all that work, and then we can just put that right there and get the same result. Doesn't really matter. All right, but let's go back to the slick version. I'll just delete this. Delete. All right. Notice here I'm going to invoke func three seven three is is three greater than five. No, so that should return false. Seven greater than five. That should return true. And sure enough, false and true. All right. An anonymous method. Well, in order to turn this into an anonymous method, I have to use the word delegate out here. Int i, and then I have to say curlies, and then I have to have my return. It's All of a sudden, now I have a real method body here. Uh, but there we go, okay? So instead of having a name here, I always say delegate. I have to have a... And then the rest of it looks like a normal method uh, setup. All right? The, this is C-sharp 2.0. All right, the result's still the same. It still works the same. The compiler takes this and unwraps it to a normal member method out here. But basically, Lambda expression's much more terse. And there's also some really um, cool things we'll see with expression trees far down the road uh, that Lambda expressions handle for us. So don't use this anymore, because you don't need to. You can use Lambda expressions, right? In fact, if your Lambda expression, say we're going to take int i and string s, if you need to get a little bit more complex here, you can. And you can add the parentheses to your lambda. And then let me just put the arrow here. All right. Notice that the lambda, uh, we don't even need the return. The lambda just knows that this is the value that's returned is i greater than 5. Uh, it's complaining because funk, I need to say, hey, we're also going to take a string as well. Okay, so, so your lambda expressions can take multiple arguments. You just have to add the parentheses. If your lambda expression bodies need to be a little bit more verbose, you can add curlies. But at this point, when you add curlies, it's a normal method body. You have to say return here. But you could do other things here and make it more interesting. You could write a for loop and all sorts of other stuff. It's, it's a normal method body. But at this point, if your lambda expression, I, my personal opinion if is if it's more than one simple expression like we had before all the way back here oh I don't even want to type it up let me just I mean undo to it I'm just gonna type it up because it's easier to do I greater than five okay if you if your lambda is more compl complex than this chances are you should probably just break it out into a normal method but that's up to you I mean you, you use your gut feeling and go on go with whatever feels right